Good morning and happy Sabbath, church. The title of my story is going to be The Duck and the Devil. There was a little boy visiting his grandparents on their farm. He was given a slingshot to play with out in the woods. He practiced in the woods but could never hit the target. Getting a little discouraged, he headed back for dinner. As he was walking back, he saw Grandma's pet duck. Out of impulse, he let the slingshot fly and hit the duck in the head and killed it. He was shocked and sad. In a panic, he hit, he hid its dead body in the wood pile, only to see his sister watching. Sally had it, had seen it all, but she said nothing. After lunch the next day, Grandma said, Sally, let's wash the dishes. But Sally said, Grandma, Johnny told me he wanted to help in the kitchen. Then she whispered to him, remember the duck? So Johnny did the dishes. Later that day, Grandpa asked if the children wanted to go <coughs> fishing. And Grandma said, I'm sorry, but I need Sally to help make dinner. Sally just smiled and said, well, that's all right, because Johnny told me he wanted to help. She whispered again, remember the duck? So Sally went fishing, and Johnny stayed to help make dinner. After several days of Johnny doing both his chores and Sally's, he finally couldn't stand it any longer. He came to Grandma and confessed that he had killed the duck. Grandma knelt down, gave him a hug, and said, Sweetheart, I know. You see, I was standing at the window, and, and I saw the whole thing. But because I love you, I forgave you. I was just wondering how long you would let Sally make a slave of you. The lesson here is whatever in your past, whatever you have done, and the devil keeps throwing it in, it in your face, whether it be lying, cheating, hatred, anger, and so on. Whatever it is, you need to know that God was standing at the window and he has seen and he has saw the whole thing. He has seen your whole life. He wants, to, he wants you to know that he loves you and that you are forgiven. He's just wondering how long you will let the devil make a slave of you. The great thing about God is that when you ask for forgiveness, he not only forgives you, but he forgets. It is by God's grace and mercy that we are saved. Thank you for listening to my story. Let's say a prayer before we go back to our seats. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your forgiveness. Be with us throughout 